All right, YouTube. We're back. Rounds three and four played on a Saturday morning here around 9 a.m. We're going to see how it goes, man. We're one back of Lindsay after two. We're four back of the lead after two. And Palu on PC did not slow down. So we're going to go into round three here, man. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to play our best. Hopefully get a good finish. I mean, I have no idea on the conditions. Round three is medium wind, southwest, moderate, firm, fast. So, I mean, it's not crazy. Should be scorable. That might be, those words might be the death of me at this point. But I appreciate all you guys' support, man, in the last few days of me coming back. You guys have been absolutely amazing to me. Let's go have some fun. Let's go have some fun. Let's just play well, have some fun. That was not a good swing to start, though, but we'll play well. <laughs> 134, playing 137. We're going to loft this up a little bit. Uh, we're still hitting the push, man. We're still hitting the push. We need to, we need to get rid of that. Um, we are going to have a 12-footer here for birdie. Oh, it dove really hard at the start, though. <laughs> it dove so hard at the start, but it's a birdie on one. 33. <sighs> deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Get loose. Have fun. We can pretty much just go straight over this. Pull slow, I think is perfect. I made sure I pulled that one. So even though the tempo wasn't great, I made sure I pulled it. All right, we got a pin here, 90, up 15. <sighs> Playing 205. I'm going to loft this. Hitting it pretty straight. I think this feeds right, though. I think this feeds or feeds left. Comes off the right. It does. Okay. Pretty tame. I guess most people are going to eagle this hole this round. If I'm being completely honest. But that's a 300 through 2 start. It's a really good start for us. Hole 3, 189. Down 9, playing 180. Just put a little D loft on this. There's the pull slow. As long as this carries, I think this is really good. It carries to the green. Yep. Below the hole, probably a little bit of a right to lefter. Yep, a little bit of right to lefter. It breaks pretty hard at the hole. So we need to be weary of that. And we got it. Got it. Four under through three. You couldn't dream of a better start. But yeah, I'm so happy to be back with y'all hanging out, making videos, enjoying making some content again. I'm sorry I was gone. I just really needed to reset, man. I really needed it. We got 279. Playing 275, not much wind. We're gonna hit a partial here. There we go. Nice swing on that one. 86 might be too much still. Yeah, I think it's too much. Don't go too high. And of course. Alright, so now we got the super fun putt. It's a mega right to lefter because it's gonna be played so high up this slope. Um, we just got to trickle it down there. This is just, let's make a birdie and move on to the next hole. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, you would have loved for that to come off the backstop and be perfect. If that would have landed on the green, it might have been better. But it, it hit the fringe. It's okay. We move on. 421 for hole 5 here. Let's hit a baby draw off the tee. Just throw it out into the middle of the fairway. Leave ourselves probably a perfect lob wedge coming in. Huh? 101 yards it's playing. 98 plus 3 or 4. 101, 102. Let's put a little bit of D-loft on you. Pull slow. Right below the hole. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. 8 feet for birdie here. Didn't really turn. That's with another birdie, 38. It's another birdie. <sighs> Keep the composure. 
Keep playing well. That's all we can ask. 176 playing 173. So we're going to spin this and loft it. 101 perfect. I just needed to carry this front slope because it's severely downhill once it lands here. So it's going to run. I don't think that's a fun putt though. Yeah, this is a knee knocker from seven feet. All right, let's get a birdie and get out of here. What do you say? But we, we made it. We made it. We made it. All right. Birdie so far today. Seven under through six. Great start. 436 for number seven. Hit the pole. The wind's going to bring it back just enough. The fairway feeds left to right. Just what we wanted. Once again, I think we're going to have almost a perfect lot. Oh, no, it's actually a little farther than I thought. So it's 111 playing 115. So we're going to spin this and put a little loft on it. That wasn't a great swing. I felt very quick with that. Let's not do that again. It works out. And it left me a dead straight putt. Can't complain, but I can't complain that that's not a swing I want to see consistently. Hole eight here, par five. We're going to need to try and kill this one. 103. It's going to be a weird second shot. Hold on. So we're going to, we're going to bend this around the tree. The shaping is going to take some yardage off. We're going to have 100 perfect. Ah, the shaping did not take enough yardage off. So we're going to be down in this little gully. It's a putt for eagle, though. It is a putt for eagle. Up a foot so we can be a little aggressive. We're going to add a couple boxes to it to ensure we get it there. It's got some pretty severe right to left in the middle. Let's get the feel of the vibro. Get the feel of the vibro. Ah, it's low. That's it. Whoa. I did not feel like I went that far through the vibro on that one. Ten feet for birdie here. It's getting there. Dead center. All right, so you don't usually want to leave yourself a ten-footer coming back after you have an eagle putt. Um, but yeah, that's a really tough approach shot. I, I don't think hybrid reaches. I don't think that slope funnels it back off the right, so I think that was the right play. 496. One of the hardest holes on the course here, number nine. Um, definitely, definitely one of the top three hardest holes in the course, in my opinion, even if the handicap doesn't say to that. We got a pretty straightforward pin on this one, though. 76 playing 86. We're going to de-loft this. You know, when I say there's a straightforward pin and then I hit a mega slow, that doesn't help. I second guessed it, and now we have a funky putt. It breaks a lot at the start. And it just. That first bead just sent it so much farther right than I. or left than I thought it would. But. Listen, we need 35 to catch Palu through two rounds. We're on pace. Nine under through nine. I can't complain about that. We have some scoring on the back. Let's go make it happen. Hold the fairway. Just hold the fairway. Okay. Didn't hit the greatest shot there. 261. We're going to hit a partial three wood. 94. It's just not working back, man. It's just not working back. Stay in chip range. Okay. We've got a chip. We have a chip. We're going to aim a little left and hit the push. Come on. That's massive. Whew. All right. Let's have another look at that. All right. 11 under through 10. 11 under through 10 holes. Let's keep the foot on the gas and play our best. We get a slow on that tee shot, which I didn't really like to see. We've been hitting a couple slows now, so we need to tighten that up a little bit. All right. Put this one up. Hole 11 here. You can just take this over the corner. All right, listen, we might practice swing. <laughs> we might need a practice swing. 129 playing 125. We're going to loft this up a little bit. Yeah, 
we're going to need to take a practice swing. 19 feet for birdie here. Just too hard for that line. I felt like I hit it a little firmer than I wanted to as well. That's okay. 11 under. Usually don't want to par that hole. <sighs> but we do anyways. So it happens. 43 under. 7 to go. And we're on the 12th hole of this one now. All right. Well, we're going to try and kill this one. Well, we didn't slow that one. That's fine. I think this is fine over here. I mean, I can't really see the lie. It's pretty steep at our feet. I'm just going to hit this pretty much normal. Let it run. It should just run. Not when you land it in an upslope, it's not going to run. Um, so we just made two very bad decisions in a row. But we have a 29 footer to kind of save face a little bit. And we miss it, so that's okay. It's another par. Three pars in our last four holes with an eagle with an eagle sprinkled sprinkled in there a little bit, but it's eleven under through twelve. All right, pop a nice one out in the fair. All right, three seventy five here. We got to play up the right as far as possible. That's a much better swing. That's much more what we're accustomed to. We have a perfect pitch coming in. 77. Little spin, little D-loft. 98 fast is more than fine. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. That broke a lot more than I thought still. We might need to pay attention on these greens a little bit more. 16's probably not going to be reachable again, so we really just need to run the gauntlet here and get to 49, because I don't think there's any reachable holes here. Um, yeah. 272 playing 264. Should funnel right. This should funnel right. Perfect. Just absolutely perfect. That's that's a tough hole. That is that is a tough hole. Especially, that's probably the most straightforward you're going to see that hole. And you just have to hope that it, you make a birdie there. Par is never a bad score on that hole, though. Perfect. Where were you two holes ago? Hello? 55 playing 62. A little bit of loft. 101. Baby slow. Should kick right. Perfect. Not going to be a fun putt, I don't believe, though. Yeah, it's a little bit more break than I would like from 10 feet. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Okay. 46, three to go. Ooh, it might be reachable if we had a good tee shot here. This is going to be close. Nope. Well, there goes our chance of reaching. Actually, I mean, we have to go for it, so I'm just going to try and kill it. 106. Oh, my, be good. Oh, my, be good. There's a slope on the right. Come back to the hole. <sighs> okay, we have. We need this. 10 feet for eagle. Turn, 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 turn. Oh my lord. Okay. We got an eagle 48. Come on. All right. Best of luck here on 239. We're going to D loft this. I didn't want to hit the fast, though. I did not want to hit the fast. It's probably going to funnel left now. Somehow stay up there. Somehow, just... No, 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 no. Oh, it's not that bad. 24. 24 feet. Now snap. Now snap. Now snap, 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 snap. Come on! 
49. And, oh yeah, we're gonna look at that one, again. one hole to go. <sighs> Let's go. Come on. We're leading on PlayStation. Do you guys like this camera angle better, or do you like the camera right above the scoreboard? You tell me. 544. 102. Perfect. I'm just trying to keep this in the fairway. And trust me, we played this course for the Ryder Cup. This pin is disgustingly hard. It is so difficult of a pin. And that's the miss, is left, because you just don't want to be in that bunker on the right. You just don't want to be in the bunker. But this putt... It's just a brutal pot, man. It's so finicky. And it breaks that way. It comes back a little. When you're on, you're on. Oh, we absolutely needed that, man. We absolutely needed that. That's huge. That means going into round four. Lindsay hasn't played yet. So we can't worry about Lindsay. The dude's a freak. He might go out and shoot a 20 this round. You never know. That, I'm gonna let you go. He ever so much can very easily go out there and shoot a crazy round. But we need 17 to catch Palu. Great start on the front. Four hole stretch in the middle was rough. Great finish. Great finish in that final six. And that's an 18 under round. I mean, is there really anything else you can say? I'm not going to cut the recording. I'm not going to cut the recording. I'm going to just post these as one and two. 100% greens again. 17 foot proximity. Great round. We're going to move right in. No new intro. No outro. We're going into round four. Checking the conditions. Seeing what we can do. 17 is the goal. 15 gets you second right now. 17 is the win. Okay, blue tees, pin four. Low winds, very rare. Southeast, firm, default. Very firm, default, default. And where defaults are firm. So it's going to be fat, firm 180s on very firm fairways. These fairways have a lot of slope in them in general. You have to be extremely cautious where you're hitting the ball off the tee. But we need to make sure our tempo's in line on low winds. And that's, that's a great start. That's a great, great, great start to hit it just right step up stripe it 139 playing 143 we're gonna put a little bit of loft on this a baby slow with a 101 should be absolutely perfect yep beautiful about 10 feet below the pin it's breaking a little bit so we need to be wary of that Whew. hit it a little firmer than we probably should have but that's one that's one 17 more. Birdie every hole, you have nothing to worry about. We're teeing it up on the second hole now. Okay, so what does like 290 leave you? 290 leaves you 257. Somehow hold the fairway. Yeah, that's well worth the risk. That is so well worth the risk. 98 up 45, playing 213. So this goes like 209 like here. One oh two, perfect. I just wanna I don't wanna be short. I just don't wanna be short. It's a little long, which is fine, but I'm this is not gonna be a fun eagle putt. And we need to be careful about the pace here. We do need to be wary of the pace here. 31 feet for Eagle here. Gonna have to play a little safer on it. It's gonna be low, but I need it to sit. Yeah. That's a very, very tough approach shot. And short is not a fun chip coming back. So if I can just make a birdie and move on, that's all I care about. 84 now, down 9 or 10, playing 74 to 75. We're going to spin this and loft this. A 101, a perfect. Just carry to the green. 
Yep, beautiful. I knew I took a little bit too much off of that, which is my own fault, but 10 feet for birdie. <sighs> the first speed just didn't turn. I kind of had a feeling that that was going to happen. All right. You know what it requires now? Perfect golf the rest of the way through. And you know what? That's fine. We have our eagle chances too. 291. Eighty nine percent. It's a little too far right, I believe. It's a little too f oh fuck. Oh no. Okay. Um my only goal here now is just to make a birdie. It's so steep. It's so steep here. Spin. Spin. Sit. Okay. Five feet to the cup from here. Okay. So that's a birdie. It's what we needed. I was about I was just a little too far right for that slope. And it was a little too far still, but that's okay. It's 300 through four start. You've got a par four, par in front of four you here. You don't need a huge drive. I don't mind hitting that slow just cause it helps slow it down up a little bit more. We got 109 though, playing 112. A little bit of loft on this. A baby slow. This could be extremely good. Yep, it's all over it, man. It's just all over it. 54. 54, four, 13 to go. 73, playing 70. We're going to D-loft this, actually. A 101, slow. Well, I think you found the green here. It's a great shot, but I don't think it's the most fun putt from up there. Nice. Eh, it's got a little bit of funkiness in it. It's got a little bit of funkiness in it, but it's okay. Some of those beads just look a little weird on this course, man. It's a great course, but some of the beads, some of the beads are a little odd. Hole seven. Just need a good tee shot. This should kick right and stay in the fairway. Yep, just how we drew it up. And we got 115 playing 119, and I'm going to D-loft this. Got a steep slope at our feet. A 101 fast. Sit, 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 sit. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We're heading to a par five. We got three par fives left. I know for a fact the last one on the back is not reachable. This one you can reach with a really good tee shot. Yeah, it looks like this one will play. Eh, it's not going to be a fun approach shot. Here we go. 227. Or so away. Um, I don't know if this gets over the tree, but we're going to try it. It does. Go. Go, 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 go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two. What? Super steep at our feet, so we don't need to put a ton of spin on this. Go in. No. Here we go. This one for birdie. <sighs> I needed the full off to get over the tree, but wow. That came up. Well, let's let this Mile. I know full off takes off spin, but the full spin adds. Full loft takes away yardage. Full spin adds yardage. It usually is pretty equal, but all right, that's fine. Don't dwell on it. Play your game. 89 playing 200. A little bit of spin, a little bit of loft. A 101 slow. This one's looking good. Sit. Just sit. Just sit. Just sit. Just sit. Just sit. Yeah, man, that's. I can't really land it much better than that. And we got nine feet. About nine feet to the hole from you got to turn. You've got to turn. <laughs> okay. Eight under. Nine under back nine. A nine under back nine brings us glory. Uh oh. Is my game broken? No, it's not. Okay. <sighs> hole 10. All right, we don't need to do anything too crazy. I was like, we don't need to do anything too crazy with the tee shot. And then I do that. 
And then I do that. Okay, so... We gotta do the shot we hit in round three. Oh my. Hit directly into that upslope. Hit so hard into that upslope. What a shot. Alright, it's gonna break. No, 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 no. I adjusted back at the end and it almost screwed screwed me. I saw that first bead that was breaking the most. It had a little bit of a little bit of a slant in it. Okay. okay. Hole eleven. Perfect. Lands right in the fairway. It's gonna funnel down and we're gonna have a beautiful pitch distance in. 88. Pretty much playing the yards. A little bit of loft. A 101 slow. And we hit a straight swing plane. And now we got a funky little putt from 10 feet. A funky little one from 10 feet. But it's a birdie. 61. 7 to go. Just keep your foot on the gas, man. Foot on the gas. This holds a short car four. Might be able to get aggressive. Okay, so how far do we need to cover this? I can get 330 out of this. This should be fine. Yeah, it's in the fairway. That's fine. We have a backstop, so we all we just need to do is not come up short on this flop. See? It's pretty simple when you think about it that way. Six feet, to go six feet for birdie. That oh, that green almost got me again from six feet. Let's slow it down on the greens a little bit coming in. Let's slow it down on the greens coming in a little bit. Nice, pure 97, speed. slow. Ah, I handcuffed it too much. 51, 55. Okay, so we're going to full off this in just a little spin. Full off in a little spin. Should spin off of this. Go in. Go in. Come on. 63. Five to go. Stepping up to a par three. 249. Playing 230, 241. I have an idea here. I'm going to hit this and land it between the slopes. Land it between the slopes. No, it was just too far right. That's such a tough shot to hit, man. 55 feet for birdie. Just give it a chance. Just give it a chance. Okay. This puts about four feet. Think? We thankfully we made that eagle on ten. So now we need to run it. Right. <sighs> Hole fifteen. Nice swing. Ninety seven slow. You don't need anything too crazy on this tee shot. You can't really get too aggressive. Forty five up eight. Seven playing fifty three. So we're just going to do that. A 101 slow. Ooh, I think this could be good. It's money distance again, but Nine it's a tough away. putt. Nine feet. It's getting there. Wow. I don't want to see any more of those putts coming in. I want straight uphill putts the rest of the way in. That's all I want. Three more holes. Okay, this yep. Can't reach. You can't reach. So don't do anything crazy off the tee. You can't reach. You just can't. Alrighty. Second shot on the 16th. I hit it big slow, but it really doesn't matter. Maybe it does. It does matter. I'm an idiot. Okay, here's our All right, we're going to we're going to full off full spin a sand wedge flop out of here. No way. 
No way, I was an inch away. Okay, here we go. We need to lock in for this putt. We made that birdie so much harder than it needed to be, but we have a chance still. Birdie, the last two. Teeing up now on number 17. 21 playing 17, so we're going to spin this. Loft it a little. Get to the backstop. Get to the backstop. Come on. Come on. No. All right, here's a 23-footer. 23-footer. Nope. Just didn't turn at the start. I took so much distance off that too, man. It still is long. Oh, it's getting there. Eagle 18. Just Eagle 18. All right, let's see what we can do off the tee here. It's a long par four. Okay. 203. Okay, we are about 205 to the pin from here. Oh, so it's two. So it's been 207. So which way is it break? So we need to land it up here. Nope, I think that's GG's on that one. I think that's GG's. And that's why. Oh man, that putt on 17. I, if I'm being honest, that putt on 17, I thought I missed. I thought I missed it low, and it finished high by a mile and I didn't hit it too hard oh man seriously that round two is going to be what's haunt what haunts me the round two 13 under was extremely poor I shouldn't have shot 13 in that round I mean it's the best round four out here Chris Jones down at the bottom had a 16 under as well I mean we didn't do anything too bad we made two pars coming in on 14 which is it says second but that's that pin is impossible you have to I had the right idea with my tee shot. I just hit it slow. It happens. Hole 17. I couldn't take more loft off, like more distance off, and I decided to play it a little safe, and it ended up screwing me. I should have probably just taken a little more loft off because I hit a very good shot. And then we, I mean, we parred three holes. They were all par threes. Oh. Actually, that putt on three is going to cost me, too. That putt on three is brutal, man. Oh. Uh, heartbreak at Almont. First video back. Couldn't get the win for y'all. I mean, we played so... Look at this. We didn't miss a green the final two rounds. Our medium putting was great. Our long putting was great. And don't think we... Yeah, we played so well, man. Pitt, aka Witness, Billy Gilmore. Now Mark Pittman, if anyone doesn't know. Former number two in the world. I think he's like the fourth or fifth now. Better proximity than me. I did not miss many greens though, man. Did not miss many greens. Didn't miss a medium putt. Putted really well from long range too. Just they had the most eagles by far. I mean, just it was such a solid week too. It's such a solid week, and we just couldn't we just couldn't close it out, man. We just couldn't close it out. It happens. I mean, the scores are crazy on this course right now anyways. I mean, let's get my head out of the way and we can discuss it super quickly. I mean, you got 66, 62, and then you got four, three people at 56 and Scud run down to gas. You got 10 Bob Cabot, Kolbs are 55, 54, Gremlin leader 54. I mean, look at this. Like we're on, we are just on the PlayStation leaderboard and we are all the way to... 21st 20 the top 24 people shot 50 under or better on PlayStation like that is just some of the most insane 
scoring you are ever going to see in a week. I mean, just like, even, but there were some names that did struggle. Like there were some people that did struggle. Um, but yeah, it happens. We're going to move on. We'll go to next week. We'll probably be streaming tonight as well. Saturday night streams. Probably going to be some playing some Galf. Probably going to be playing some COD. But yeah, I love you guys, man. Thank you for all the support. Till next time. Till next week. We got to get ready for the British Open. Oh, this one's going to sting for a while, man. All right. I love you guys. Peace.